Hey friends, welcome back. So in this session, we are going to just understand what are all the symbols for various electronic devices like diode, transistors that we are using. There are multiple categories available here and I'm just going to explore it quickly and this will be very helpful for people who want to undergo interview process because the interviewer may ask you to quickly draw and represent some of these devices as symbols. So this will be very useful, I hope. Let me know your insights after you watch the session. Sources and ground. How do we represent sources and ground? Let's go ahead one by one. This is how you need to represent the ground. It can be either this way or this way. This is the earth and ground. And you can see that this is called chassis ground. This is analog ground. This is a digital ground. There are a lot of differences. So please watch it carefully. This is chassis ground. This is analog one and this is digital one. Well, now sources. This is cell, single cell. We can see that as single cell. Now this is multiple, multiple cells battery. You can see that this is the way we need to represent it. And this is the voltage source and this is the current source. You need to represent it that way. This is voltage source. This is current source. This is dependent voltage source and this is dependent current source. Remember, dependent voltage source and dependent current source. And this is AC source. Now, we have understood clearly about the ear thing and the sources. So, we have seen how do we represent the earth, the chassis ground, the analog ground, digital ground and then the battery, single and multiple, voltage source, current source, the dependent voltage source, dependent current source, AC source, all these are explained here. Now, let's go through the resistors. There are multiple things that we need to understand. Some of us might know it. If we really do not know it, it's time to learn it. Fixed resistor is always represented first whenever you go for interviews. This will be the first thing followed by all these components coming one after another. So we are going to learn one after another. Fixed resistor can be represented this way. You can see that here. And this is also a method or way to represent it. Variable resistor or rheostat. You call it either way, variable resistor or rheostat. And potentiometer, see this arrow. This arrow is very important. This is potentiometer and thermistor. Thermistor comes with T and degree symbol over there. T and degree symbol. This is tapped resistor. Remember it. Tapped resistor and voltage dependent resistor is represented this way with a slide, with a, with a slant over it. So voltage dependent resistor. Fixed resistor, variable, potentiometer, tapped, thermistor, voltage dependent resistor. All these are explained there. Now capacitor is the next topic to be discussed. We will see all the symbols quickly. Now this is fixed capacitor. See the tilt here. This is fixed. Polarized capacitor will have plus and minus over there. Tilt remains. Non-polarized, it's just straight bars and this is non-polarized. When you have an arrow with tilt in the first one, it is called a variable capacitor and feed-through capacitor is also available here. This is called feed-through capacitor. Right. We are going to see the meters right now one by one. Voltmeter, ammeter, ohmmeter and wattmeter. Voltmeter, you can see that it's just a V with a circle around it. Ammeter, A with a circle around it. Ohmmeter, the symbol, ohm is there and wattmeter, W is there. And the next one is to go through, next one we need to go through is inductors. We have got the air core inductors first. This is called air core inductor. The second one is variable inductor. You have got a line over there, variable inductor. And the third one is solid core inductor. You can see that we have got two lines below the coil solid core inductor ferrite core inductor you can see the way it is represented ferrite core inductor and finally it is ferrite bead so these are all the types of inductors that we normally get in the interview or the discussions let's go ahead with the diodes zener diode schottky diode shockley diode tunnel diode varactor diode gun diode diac triac and photodiode followed by finally right light emitting diode. The spelling of Shockley diode is wrong here. Forgive me for that. Now this is the way diode can be represented. A, a triangle and a bar here. Zener diode the same way but this has to be Z. This should look like Z. Schottky diode bend the Z a little bit. Shockley diode make it this way. This has to be like the Shockley diode. Now tunnel diode you can have a structure like this for tunnel diode or it can also be represented like this. But the most preferred one is this. Then varactor diode. Two bars when you have it is called varactor diode. A gun diode. And diac. You know it. This is a very famous stuff. This is diac. 
and triac when you have the third thing out here with a1 and a2 mark that is called triac photodiode the light should come in photodiode light emitting diode the light should go out of the circle the circle is very important out there so make sure that you don't miss it and light dependent resistor which is nothing but LDR so make sure that you mention it right as well we will go ahead with more of these and I'm going to uh, also talk about the electrical and electronic devices which are left out with the symbols and that will come out shortly thank you very much if like that if you like the channel and the content please subscribe and give a thumbs up thank you